Hi, hello guys. This is Vignesh. Welcome to Architects Learnings. In this video, we are going to see about how to make a wave surface. For that, first I will explain how I am going to do it. So when we will do it in the code, you understand better. So first we will draw two lines. Sorry. First we will draw two curves. Then we will divide these curves and connect those points. Then find the midpoint and move the points such a way it form the wave. Then we just have to loft it to make it as a surface. So let's start the code. Let's bring the curves to the grasshopper. Set one curve. Let's divide the curves. Divide, divide curve. Connect. Default it has a ten count. Let's make it thirty. Let's bring this to fifteen or something. So same thing, copy paste here. Yeah. So as we said, we divide the curves. Now we have to connect these points. For that, we are going to use line tool. As you see, we connected the lines. Then we have to find the midpoint. For that, we are going to use Point on curve. Now we have to move this vertically. So let's move. As you can see, all these points moved in is the direction. But it moved equally, but we want the view pattern. For that, we have to give the proper input for the motion. To create a pattern, we are going to use repeat data. You can find the same in sets, sequence, repeat data. In this two input, we have to give one is data, another one is length. The length is length of the pattern. So length of the pattern going to be same as this and I'm going to give the data like 3 and 6. Let's connect this data to this. For that I'm going to merge this. Merge these two data. If you see, you can see 363636 form the pattern. Now we have to connect this into motion. Before that, all this data has to move in Z direction. So I'm adding Z unit. Now, as you can see, it formed the wave pattern to see clearly i'm going to hide these two things lines and the points so you can see now it is from the pattern now we have to connect all these points so for that i'm going to use arc component the first point is this Second point is this, third point is this. So you can see it connected. Now we just have to loft it. As you can see, we form the curve. 
I'm just going to hide all these things. See it properly. If you want more waves, then you just have to increase the division. That's it. Hope you understand. I will attach this grasshopper file and the rhino file in the description. If you want, you can check it out. See you in our next video. Bye.